SAS9 Content Assessment has been around for a while. It is a tool that allows users of SAS9 for deployments that have a metadata server, planned deployments, to prepare for migration to SAS5. Up until this point, we've had nothing for base SAS users that use SAS on the PC or Linux. SAS9 Content Assessment for PC users on Linux is a new tool that allows users to assess non-planned deployments to inventory their artifacts and assess readiness of their SAS code for migration to SAS via. Content assessment for PC and Linux users is available for download from support.sas.com. As I mentioned, it's for non-planned deployments and it's going to help a user to understand the key characteristics of a SAS9 system. There are currently two applications included. The inventory application, which scans SAS9 systems and documents the type and volume of the artifact. And then there's a code check application, which examines SAS programs to determine their compatibility with SAS VAR. In this demo, I will walk through the process of downloading, unpacking, configuring and running SAS9 content assessment for PC users and reviewing the generated results. We don't cover the Linux version of the tool in this particular video, but the process is very much the same for Linux users. Okay, let's move on to the demo. The first step in using the tool is to download it. The easiest way to find it on support.sas.com on the downloads page is to go by release date and you can click on the most recent months to get the most recent version of content assessment. And then all the versions of content assessment are listed and the one for PC users is at the bottom. So if you click on it, it's going to download a zip file to the machine where your browser is running. And I am going to copy that zip file from the downloads folder into the folder where I want to install the application. And with it there, I'm going to right click on it and say extract all. And I'm going to take off the release information so that the folder just is just called SAS9 Content Assessment for PC Users and click Extract. That's going to create that folder, SAS9 Content Assessment for PC Users and an assessment folder under it. And within that folder is the contents of the tool. Configuring the application is simple. We edit one file, the setup.txt file, in the assessment directory. We, in that file, there's three variables we have to edit. The first one, SAS home, is the primary location where the SAS products are installed. So we enter that path. In my case, it's in program files, SAS home. It's probably pretty typical. And then for paths, we can enter a series of paths, and this is the locations on the file system we want the application to scan. I will use one path, the workshop gel core, and then we give this scan a label. So that's just a unique string and then save the file. The installation and configuration done is really simple to run it. We just double click on the executable runme.bat. The application will open up in its own window and it will send messages to that window as it runs through the process. So the first thing it's going to do is run the inventory to do an inventory of the SAS9 content. It will publish those results. And it will run a preview of the assessed content that creates some CSMP files on the file system that you can use for reporting purposes. It outputs that information and following that, moves on to run in code check. Following code checks completion, it will publish that content and do the preview for code to check. Again, output some CSV files to the directory that the tool is installed in on the file system. And then when the process is completed successfully, we should get the message that it's completed. And when we press enter, then a new window should open up containing the two report. So let's go over and take a look first at the inventory report. There are two sub reports, artifacts and licensed products. We'll focus on artifacts. 
When we open artifacts at the top, you can see a count of each artifact found, and below a table for each artifact containing the details of the artifact. Where it's located in the file system, the size and who last modified it. So that's really your inventory of what you, what's been found by the tool. Code check has a series of sub-reports. The first one relates to SAS access engines and contains information about the access engines found in the programs that were scanned, including where they were in the programs. And then file name statements contains details about SAS programs scanned and the usage of the file name statement in the program. This is important because those files may be different in different locations in your target environment. Hard-coded paths similarly contains details about where there are hard-coded paths within your code. Something you might need to be aware of is they may be in a different location when you transition to Vime. Next one, SAS programs that are incompatible. It contains details about the programs, includes a summary of the incompatible statements. We can see we have things like metadata data step functions that are not going to work in VIA and some procim stat, SAS I will alive name. So that's statements identified that won't work in the VIA environment and we need to be aware of them. Then we have live name statements, which shows us where all the live name statements are and the paths that they point to in the code that was scanned. And finally, programs with set statements that needs attention. Now these are items that may not run in VIA out of the box because VIA runs in a more secure mode. Now VIA could be configured to use these statements or you can try to find an alternate method for using them in the VIA environment. So that concludes our brief look at SAS content assessment for PC users. We downloaded it, unzipped it, did some a little bit of configuration and then ran it and reviewed uh, the very useful reports you get to look at your SAS9 environment without a metadata server so that you can prepare for transition to SAS5.